See that? You see how freaking rich I am? Caramel. Got the Garadaldi caramel even. Dun dun dun! So the chops, we're gonna take them out of this, dry them really good with a paper towel, and we'll get ready to season. You can also trim these if you want, but I like it. I think that's a good amount of fat on there. You get the idea. Look, friends. Look at all of the possibilities. A dash of this, a dash of that. No wonder I'm so freaking fat. Subtle D. Try to stay subtle about everything. Turmeric's going in. It's just good for you. I'm not putting enough in to really influence the flavor that much. But see, this taps out pretty nice. Now five or six little tappies. I forgot. Let's go fifth season Italian seasoning. Stuff's just a really good blend. I think I'll do, well, it's about a half, half teaspoon. Go with some parsley flakes. I don't know if I have enough base amount in here yet. I don't know. I think I'm going to need some more. Here we go. Ground garlic, not garlic salt. Don't want to go too crazy with the salt. This stuff comes out really slow, so I'll give it about five, six shakes. And we're gonna have to go more salt. Oh hell, let's put a little bit of Johnny's. We've got about five or six steaks there, so I wanna make sure I make enough. Get them all covered. Okay, onion powder. This looks like some crusty onion nuggets. Need to use those up, so let's pull the top off. It wasn't held together with moisture, it was just compacted in there. Of course, we store these spices above the um, range hood, so maybe it gets warm and changes that way. Alrighty. Looks like we got a good mix here, so I'm going to shake it up, mix her on up, and get to coating those pork chops. Hogger Nation! <laughs> and this here is Taco, the giraffe that guards my fucking shit. You want some? You want to mess with me? I pity the fool. Everybody's an asshole nowadays. You notice that? Like, I don't know. I got to get something to wear around my neck. It's not that I don't care about others. It's just I forget to grab the mask and I get all the way to the door and I'm like, fuck, now I'm going to be the one people just pointing. So... I ain't gonna just do it anyway. I go all the way back, grab the mask, and it's like, you know, life is already hard enough as it is. So with all the extra craziness, 
people are all just assholes. I don't blame them. It's not really fun doing stuff out in public, you know, crowded areas. Um, people, like, deliberately stay far away, or they don't care about any of the rules or suggestions, and they're standing right next to you. So, I, I don't know what else to do besides, in that case, just hysterically start coughing, and maybe they'll get it, but, you know, you're still making a scene. I don't know. What I'm going to do to keep them dry, tell you what I'm going to do. Stack them up. Go. Whoop. Lay down this. Now, it doesn't have to be all the way on it because you just want the moisture to go into this instead of it just sitting on the outside on the bottom. Okay? Because then it's going to be a, even more of a pain in the butt to cook. It just won't cook even. So, everything dry, as dry as it could get, you know, besides dry aging it. We're ready for our mixture here. Make sure it's good and mixed. Whatever your spice is, whether you get it all in one out of one container or just make your own to, to taste. Sprinkle it. Didn't put any brown sugar or anything in this time. Maybe I should get some of that. Flip a rooski. You lightly pat it in. Okay. I try to just by looking at it make sure I get a fair mixture of everything. You're going to always find a big chunk of part of the spices that should have been mixed together towards the bottom, but do that last little gilding over the top. Now, if they're you're doing this for like a day, I would rinse them off afterwards. Um, just simply because you got these old spices burning on there. Um, and it's going to be really, you've gotten the maximum flavor out of those spices, so. Um. Ta-da! cries everybody hurts sometimes sometimes everything is weird man that's an embarrassment but you know what have no fear cookout is here back on full time 100 percent stronger than ever not quite doing push-ups on my fingertips like those monks but you know pretty damn close